Welcome to Building Trackable Objects with the Logitech Stylus Part 1. You will see that this video is being recorded by a camera that is able to see infrared. And these dots that I have on tape all over the stylus are all of the places on it where these lights are that you need to be able to effectively track this as a tracked device. So the design parts that I have noticed so far as I'm working on building a controller that will use this for tracking is once you get down over here to the bottom, this side here has one top and bottom. There's not one on the back side that's there. There's nothing all through the middle here. And then up here you can see this grid of dots that's arranged. I'm going to move it out of the IR spectrum just so you can see that easier and now I'll put my or I can see it right here again. You'll see there's a triangle pattern here with those two facing see the USB C's up here, there's one on the top, and then down here there are those two. So here is your overview of the stylus. Of course all of the documentation for how the buttons and that kind of stuff work is online, no need for me to cover that. And this is just some information for people that want to build stuff and all some details on my controller design here. So using the Logitech stylus as a tracked object, that is what this is all about. So you'll see I've already got in-game, I calibrated the weapon and the pen. So when I go here, and I snap that in there, I'm on my Strike Industries Alpha here that I have my mount that's in there. So um, I haven't optimized the model that holds the pen yet. What you'll see, as long as you're viewing it from up top here, even though I don't have holes cut in that mount for where the leads go, that tracks well. And so when you're out here, the one problem though that I've noticed, there's a little bit of float on that tracking. So in the back here, you have your three leads that are in a pattern. You can't actually see it because I have that model up right now. But there's a triangle, oh here that sticks out at this offset a little. There's a triangle pattern on the back of, if, let me look at what that is. Let me just lift the headset up real quick. Yeah, so our triangle pattern, there's one at the top. There's two at both of these sides here when we have that mounted in there. And then over along the sides down in there, we have some more. So you're going to see there's tracking issues right now with how I have the mount once you get down to here. Because the leads that are right down in the bottom, I don't have cutouts yet in that mount. But as soon as we get back to parallel here, even though I don't have cutouts there, anytime that you're in parallel anywhere behind here, this is going to track. Although with a little bit of swim in there. And so that swim is really the biggest concern I have about using it as a tracked object. Because you'll see here, when I move it around, there is that little bit of float there, but I'm really gonna have to get at least a trigger in place here so that I'm able to start doing some shooting, see how that really affects stuff in here. So I'll pull the pen out again so you can see the mount here. So I don't actually have this trigger functional yet. The design approach that I'm going to take for this, uh, here, let me jump out of the software real quick. So you'll be able to see the pen. So the design approach that I'm going to take, I haven't yet added any SDK support for the stylus or even the XRI inputs into the game yet. And... The button right here naturally is the trigger for it. So this is force sensitive whenever you press, there you go. So that is force sensitive whenever you press this like this and it behaves as the trigger. Well, I guess not in the operating system, you have to use the others here, but in game without the SDK, that behaved as a trigger. And so you have your single one there, which is going to be, and the force sensitive tip is one of the axes, and I'll be using that for the slide. The trigger is going to be here, which means magazine state in the back and weapon light in the front here for all of our functions. I still have my tape on the model behind here that has all the different positions marked. So 
It's past test one in that it tracks. The only real question here is how well is this going to end up tracking? Because, like, you can see there's some floating this way as well. So thanks for joining me for the video. Enjoy.